Um, yeah, let's look at the other now. Let's look at the GFS. The NAM is stronger. Still basically showing a New Jersey hit Monday night. Shows the same scenario. The pressure is 948.7. 948.2 when it comes on shore across well, very near the extreme northern part of New Jersey, near New York City, on uh, 3Z Tuesday. Wow. And the very tightly packed isobars extend to the west all the way into Indiana, to the south all the way into North Florida, to the north all the way up into, way up into Canada. Massive storm. Massive storm system. The incredibly tightly packed isobars and the damaging winds extend from southern Maine to southeast Virginia, north south, and as far west as central um, Ohio, western Virginia, and um, eastern Michigan on the west side. That's at 3Z Tuesday when this thing comes ashore. Just a large area of damaging winds, folks. This is pretty scary still. And the uh, GFS has been consistent with a 948 millibar system coming on, and, and now the uh, NAM is starting to trend lower with the pressure as well. This still looks like a very, very scary storm. I'm not feeling a bit better about it. <laughs> it is just absolutely massive. Uh, I was talking about that with Aaron earlier, and we're thinking 5 to 10 feet conservatively on the surge. That could be a, that could be a low figure, in my opinion. But I don't want to go any higher than that right now officially. But I will say that 5 to 10 foot surge is certainly enough to do severe damage. There was about a 10 foot, 5 to 10 foot surge on Hatteras Village for, during um, Isabel, and it wiped out everything on the coast. So, um, that's pretty significant. I'd be a little concerned. I wouldn't be on Long Island at all. I would get off the island tomorrow at the latest. I'd probably been getting off the island today, but tomorrow, for sure, I'd be getting the heck off that island. Nobody needs to be on Long Island during this thing. Yeah, this this surge, the way it looks, is is tailor made for you know for flooding Lower Manhattan.